Welcome to today's video, where we will explore the fascinating world of behavioral models in clinical psychology. Clinical psychology is a field that seeks to understand and treat various mental health disorders and behavioral issues. Behavioral models are one of the fundamental frameworks that psychologists use to comprehend and address these challenges. To start, let's define what the behavioral model is. In clinical psychology, the behavioral model emphasizes the role of observable behaviors as the key to understanding and treating psychological disorders. It is rooted in the idea that behaviors are learned and can be modified through specific techniques. Clinical psychologists who work within the behavioral model often focus on observable actions and reactions. They believe that by identifying and modifying problematic behaviors, individuals can achieve better mental health. To truly appreciate the behavioral model, it's essential to understand its historical context. This model emerged in the mid 20th century, challenging the dominance of psychoanalytic theories. Psychologists like B. F. Skinner played a pivotal role in shaping this approach. B. F. Skinner introduced the concept of operant conditioning, which is a central tenet of the behavioral model. Operant conditioning focuses on how behaviors are influenced by their consequences. Positive and negative reinforcements and punishments play a crucial role in shaping our actions. Now, let's delve into some key concepts within the behavioral model. Classical conditioning, pioneered by Ivan Pavlov, is one such concept. It's the process of associating a neutral stimulus with a reflex response, ultimately leading to a conditioned response. For example, think about how phobias can develop through this mechanism. As mentioned earlier, operant conditioning is another critical concept. It's about how behaviors are shaped by their consequences. Reinforcement increases the likelihood of a behavior repeating while punishment decreases IT. Now that we have a foundation, let's explore how behavioral models are applied in clinical therapy. Behavioral therapy, a prominent approach within clinical psychology, aims to identify and modify maladaptive behaviors. Therapists work closely with their clients to set specific, measurable, and achievable goals. Exposure therapy, a type of behavioral therapy, is particularly effective for treating phobias and anxiety disorders. It involves gradual and controlled exposure to the feared stimulus or situation, helping individuals learn to manage their anxiety responses. To illustrate the practical applications of the behavioral model, let's explore a few case studies. Meet Sarah, who struggles with social anxiety. A behavioral therapist might use techniques like systematic desensitization to help her gradually confront social situations without excessive fear. John is battling addiction. Behavioral therapy, with a focus on reinforcement and punishment, can help him break the cycle of substance abuse by making sober behaviors more rewarding than drug use. While the behavioral model has its strengths, it's not without its critiques and limitations. Some critics argue that the model can oversimplify complex human behaviors and ignore important factors like emotions and cognitions. Moreover, there have been ethical concerns regarding the use of punishment as a therapeutic tool. Another limitation is its narrow focus on observable behaviors, which may not fully capture the richness of human experience. Many psychologists now adopt an integrative approach, combining behavioral techniques with other therapeutic modalities. Despite these criticisms, the behavioral model continues to evolve and adapt to contemporary challenges. In today's digital age, behavioral therapy can be conducted via telethea, making it more accessible to a broader range of individuals. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy CBT and integration of cognitive and behavioral approaches has gained widespread popularity for its effectiveness in treating a variety of psychological disorders. I in conclusion, the behavioral model in clinical psychology 
has provided valuable insights into understanding and treating psychological disorders. While it has faced criticism, its core principles of observable behaviors, conditioning, and therapy techniques have significantly contributed to the field. Whether it's helping individuals overcome phobias, addiction, or social anxiety, the behavioral model remains a vital tool in the arsenal of clinical psychologists, offering hope and practical solutions to those in need. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of behavioral models in clinical psychology. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe for more content on psychology and mental health. Remember, understanding behavior is the first step towards positive change.